you know, we talk a lot about, we've talked a lot about systemic racism. You know, we talked a lot about the Ahmaud Arbery case last week, the h horrible situation of an innocent 25-year-old African-American man being gunned down by three white guys. And now we're talking about the George Floyd situation. We've talked about that. Systemic racism exists, and now we see these, you know, social media uh, videos of, of these different people across the country that are idiot racists, and they give them all these nicknames. Well, now we have a new one for you, folks. Have you heard of Central Park Karen? It's the story of a white woman. Uh, it's funny how I start this like it's a novel. The story of a white woman uh, that is walking her dog in Central Park. An African-American man is bird watching, uh, which is a little strange, but some people do bird watch. That's fine. It's not against the law. He's got binoculars and he's bird watching in Central Park. It's just weird. That's all. But uh, anyway, the guy's bird watching and then he tells this woman, hey, your dog needs to be on a leash. I get those are the rules. If somebody told me that, I'd tell him to probably to F off because I'm a horrible human being, but that's fine. Uh, but he's being a little nosy, but he's not doing anything wrong. He seems like a very calm, nice guy. He says, ma'am, can you please put a leash on your dog? This white woman goes nuts because she's a racist, ladies and gentlemen. So I want to play you a little bit of this audio. This is part of the interaction with Central Park Karen and this African-American man. Have a listen to this. Would you please stop? Sir, I'm asking you to stop. Please don't come close to me. Sir, I'm asking you to stop recording me. Please, please don't come close to me. Please take your phone off. Please don't come close to me. I'm taking pictures of calling the cops. Please, please call the cops. Please call the cops. I'm going to tell them there's an African-American man threatening my life. Please tell them whatever you like. Excuse me. Wait for it. I'm sorry, I'm in the ramble, and there is a man, African American, he has a bicycle helmet. He is recording me and threatening me and my dog. There is an African American man, I am in Central Park. He is recording me and threatening myself and my dog. And my. I'm sorry, I can't hear you either. I'm being threatened by a man in the ramble. Please send the cops immediately. I'm in Central Park in the ramble. I don't know. Thank you. <laughs> All right, first of all, I'm laughing at this because this woman is such a dope. She's such a racist dope. She's so ridiculous. By the way, while all this video is going on, she's pretty much uh, has a noose around her dog, strangling her dog, by the way. All right, here's the good news, folks. For dopes like Central Park Karen. And by the way, I'm so happy that her life is ruined because we don't want idiots like this in society. Since this video surfaced, she has lost her job, and she's also lost her dog. And now people in New York are calling for her to be banned from Central Park for life. That might be a little harsh. But here's what she did that is so damning. And if you're one of those people that's thinking, oh, what's the big deal? What did she do? Well, here's what she did. She made up a lie that an African-American male was threatening her life. Obviously, that wasn't happening. So what happens there? She knows that if the police arrive, they're most likely going to take her side of the story over his. She's using the fact that she is a white woman and engaging with an African-American man who, by the way, did nothing wrong and maybe being a little bit nosy. That's about it. He didn't do anything wrong. He was very calm. He didn't call her any names. This is clearly a woman who is a racist that are, is using her white privilege because she doesn't like the fact that somebody called her out for not abiding by the rules. She is a disgusting human being, and she even put together a half-hearted apology. She said, well, you know, I'm sorry if I offended him, and then she tried to make everybody feel sorry for her. I don't think anybody should feel sorry for her because people that are racist that use the color of their skin for, you know, to, to, to put a narrative forward and lie are horrible human beings. I'm glad she was fired from her job. I'm glad she lost her dog because, quite frankly, when you look at the fall, how does this woman even get pat through, like, da daily life? Did you hear her voice? Oh, there's an African-American man. He's threatening my life. Please come quickly. She looked like, like, she, looked like she was being raped. But, but her voice, you know? And I mean, how do people like this get right into society? How do they get through daily life when they're mental midgets like this guy or like this woman? It, it makes zero sense to me. Can you do a picture, picture the um, – well, you know, picture him. He went on CNN and said, right. yeah, even even I think that, you know, taking away her dog is a little much. 
But can you picture, you know, she's saying this man, this big African-American man is scaring me, and the guy's got, like, reading glasses and binoculars around his neck because he's watching <laughs> – he's, he's bird watching in the oh. park, and the cops are going to show up and go – uh, <laughs> what, what, what? You're scared of that guy, ladies and right, gentlemen. So, so, ladies so and gentlemen, was, Urkel is following yeah. me in the park. So, so he was <laughs> he was bird watching in the park. She ran by and happened to see him with a camera. No, here's what happened. No, her dog was off leash. Okay, dog and was off said, the leash. Uh, he asked her to please put the put the leash on the dog because he he didn't want the birds to fly away. Uh, he was well on the right to do that because he was right. The rules are. That when you're walking your dog, you have – now, listen, I will say this. I did not know you were a bird-watching purist. I, listen, I will say this. I uh, dated a girl at the time, a girlfriend at the time. It was like six or seven years ago. She had a little cute little dog. She was walking your dog, and a bulldog killed, killed him. And the bulldog killed him because the bulldog was not on a leash. Only bad things can happen if your dog is not on a leash in a public park. Okay? There are reasons why they put those rules in place. Now, with that being said, this guy was being a little bit nosy. But what this woman did was a hundred times worse. I think we all could agree on that. And these people, I'm so glad of this day and age of social media where this is actually, this helps people because you can call out these racist pigs that are out there in society. If you go on YouTube, you just type in these, you know, racist in public and you'll see hundreds and hundreds of videos just like this woman. They're called out. Many of them lose their job and it makes me feel good. It makes me feel good when one racist pig is inconvenienced or loses their job. Now, this woman wants people to feel sorry for her. I am glad that dog – I don't want a dog's owner to be a racist. I don't think any racist should be able to own a dog. That's number one. Number two, we need to call these people out, and this woman, mark my words, will think twice – before she decides to call the police on an African-American again. She will not do it again. And Central Park Karen basically has got some mental issues, as you heard in that call, and she probably deserves to be in an insane asylum. Yeah, she sounds very, very paranoid. In fact, she's actually, a new story came out this morning that she sued her ex-lover, uh, some married man. So she, this woman's got a ton of baggage. She's very, very sensitive. Yes. So here's what we're going to do. Kind of reminds me of uh, Nancy Goodman. Anxiety!